session six on prayer. And today I just want to say a few things about the role that faith plays in our prayers. Faith is important. However, God can answer any prayer. I read the other day of a man who was about to take his own life. And at the last minute, he just said, God, if you exist, give me a sign. Now, that's hardly a prayer of faith. But as he said that, his phone rang and the number identified identification came up as Almighty God. Sort of stopped him in his tracks a bit. What had actually happened was that there was a pastor of a church and the title of that church was Almighty God Our and I can't remember whether it was Redeemer or what it was. But the uh, phone identification could only fit Almighty God. He was working late at night and he had this um, understanding with his wife that when he was ready to leave, he would just let the phone have a couple of rings. It was just that this particular night, he happened to dial the wrong number. God can answer any prayer. However, prayer prayed in faith is more effective than a doubting prayer. James 1.6 says, when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. And it's easy to be like this. We pray for something, but we don't really believe that God will help or that he can help. That sort of prayer won't achieve much. Now, we might be asking God to heal our arthritis, but deep down, we don't really believe that he will. Contrast this with Mark 11:24. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if you say to this mountain, go throw yourself in the sea, and do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will happen, it will be done for you. And then a little further on, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So Jesus wants us to pray, believing that nothing is impossible. I'm not sure that he was physically speaking about moving Mount Ida, but having that faith that nothing is impossible with God. It might sound a little bit like, well, I can ask God for whatever I want, and if I believe enough, he'll give it to me. We need to think about what we pray for, because Jesus said, I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, the in my name is not a magic formula. It means more like whatever you ask for the advancement of my kingdom. If we're praying in the Spirit, then we will be praying in the will of God. And if that's the case, then we need to believe that he will answer our prayer. Hebrews 11:6 says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Again, this picks up the point of how do we see God? Is he the stern judge waiting to pounce on every bad thing we do? Or is he the loving God who works with us to bring about our good? Is he a capricious God who just does what he feels like? And we never know how he's going to respond to us. Or is he a faithful God, always to be trusted? Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. And again in Romans, Romans 8. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Pray, believing in the goodness and faithfulness of God. Pray, believing and trusting. Mm -hmm.